Now we're gonna be touching up. There's a little cracker right here. Welcome back to Mid 10, everybody. Today, what we got lined up is, is as you can see, got the 9500 behind me. We're about to service combine. Got my oil lined up. Got all my filters I bought last week. So we're gonna be servicing the combine. We're also going to change the oil and service the red dump truck. So first things first, I'm gonna climb up on here and uh, well, first things first, other first thing first, I gotta make sure that my oil bucket is set. I said the other day, make sure I ain't got knocked over. Well, one of them got knocked over. Other one's still set to catch the oil. So now we'll cut up on the combine and I flip the valve, drain the oil. And it's still kind of dirty from when we run wheat back in the spring. I just blew it off the leaf blower. It's valve turned. That drains my oil. Get climbed back down. Make sure my bucket's set before it, my bucket's in the right spot before it gets to running too fast. It should start going here in a minute. Oh, right, there we go. So the oil started. Kick my bucket back a little bit. So good to go on that. We'll get the air filter changed first. Or air, air filters. So on the combine, I change the air filter in it every year. Pretty dirty. Yep, a bunch of dust come out of it when I throw it down there. And this interior one never looks that dirty, but it usually is. And I've been going ahead and changing them once a year too. Well, I didn't drop that all the way to the bottom. Next thing is gonna be change the oil filter and uh, so change the oil filter, change the oil filter, change the fuel filter. I only spilled a little bit. That's not too bad. Let my rag won't wipe up. All right, folks, it's a negatory on priming the fuel filter right now. I uh, hit my primer pump and noticed that it's leaking fuel. I'll show you. So here's my primer pump for my fuel filter. When I give it a little press, get closer. You can see it get wet down here. And that is because it's leaking fuel. It's got a bad O-ring in it. You cannot change the O-ring in it. So I've called our local dealer. They have one in stock. Luckily, my wife is up that way today, so she's going to get my part, and she'll be back down here later this afternoon, so we'll continue servicing the combine. 
we can still get it greased up, get the change old. We can still change the oil in it, put fresh oil in it. We can still go over to the dump truck and change the oil in it. So that's what we're doing now. I put the oil in the oil filter about a quart and a half. But I'm leaving it up here that way I know I've used this much oil already. And also I brought this uh, small bucket up here. That way I could catch my oil filter, which is down here, and my fuel filter without spilling too much on the combine. Also, it gives me a good spot to carry it back down the stairs. Went tight the drain plug back up in this uh, dump truck and it wouldn't get tight. Pulled the plug back out, checked it. Threads are fine on it, but the threads in the oil pan are stripped. So I'm about to make some calls, see if I can get find a slightly larger oil plug or drain plug and a tap. So when I get back with parts, we'll get back with back you. from parts run. So we got a couple options. I have a new drain plug and an old drain plug, and I got a tap for each one. So we're gonna try to retap the original one first. If that doesn't work, we'll go to the next size, which is a size larger. But hopefully, this first one will get us. So, got the drain plug fixed. So what I ended up doing is retapping the pan and was able to use the original drain plug. I took some spray oil, washed the threads out, then took a little bit of new motor oil, poured pour about two quarts and poured it into the motor and let that drain on out to flush whatever thread, whatever metal shavings might have been in there out. And I've let it sit for a little bit, for about 20, 30 minutes and let it finish draining out. Nothing else is coming out. So I've got it back in there. It actually snugs up nice, doesn't spin out like it did. So now we're gonna take a filter off and put some more oil in it, or new oil in it. So uh, <clears throat> let's get the oil change and dump truck. We're about to head back to work on the uh, combine. I'll catch up y'all in just a minute. Back on top of the combine. Got the dump truck situated. So uh, we're gonna finish servicing the combine. All the oil finally drained out. So we're gonna get at it. My wife showed up with my fuel primer. So we'll get that changed too. And then we'll build a primer fuel pump. Well, as you can see, it's gotten hot and I sweated through my shirt again. But that's just a normal day thing. So, combine's oil's been changed, filter been changed, got new fuel filter changed, got the new fuel power pump right here. As you can see, when I pump it this time, no fuel comes out. So, we got all that done, and now we're gonna grease the combine, spray some chains. Maybe back it out of the shed today. I still till I still need to. I'll show you. Right here. There's a little hairline crack in the tank right there and it's seeping just a little bit. Now I can show you this. Right over here, the previous owner did that. Maybe I can do it nice and weld right here. I need to do that. I need to pull one hydraulic hose. Hose right down there, I need to pull it off. It run, runs underneath the motor. And uh, I believe it's got a pinhole and leaking a little bit. So we do that. So we get that done. And then still need to service the semi, service the other dump truck, and you know, get to cutting some corn. But slow process, but we're getting there. All right, folks, got to get up here, but I noticed something new, something neat. You can see right up there, right there. That's a big, a real big nest of yellow jackets. So I'm trying to get up here and not get stung. Hopefully I can make it. So uh, what I've been doing for the last little while, getting nasty as I'll get out from, is back here on the back side of the motor, it's covered up. And so it ends up getting dust and dirt built up back there and it can be a fire hazard so before we start every year i try to get i try to well i do i don't try i do open this bay up and i'll show you open the bay door so it opens up the engine compartment 
and I clean all this junk is down in there and I push it off that way that way I've got a pretty good bit on my face that way would be less likely to have a fire back there it's not gonna totally prevent one but it'll cut down on chances so I'm gonna get back on the other side maybe these yellow jackets won't get me so right now I'm getting the uh, hydraulic reservoir drained off hydraulic reservoir got the line off got my jug I can tell it's cracked because it should hold 10 gallons that's five we're gonna have about five and a half gallons should have got close to 10 so yesterday camera went dead I sometime in working on the combine didn't realize it but I finished up some things got her more cleaned off so today we're going to be tack welding a fuel tank putting a heat shield back on a hydraulic line maybe get it out and do some washing up underneath the motor to see if we can't find this hydraulic leak so y'all come along so for this heat shield had to, it was bad it was burnt it was, it was wore out and so what i'm doing i have some old header wrap back from the off-road days so i'm gonna put the header wrap which is a heat shield put it on this hydraulic line that runs underneath the motor and i'm pretty sure it'll work the exact same way maybe even better I'm not sure but we're gonna find out looks better than it did all right we got the line fish back underneath the motor gotta get her bolted back up then we'll clean off the deck over here get all the dust hydraulic fluid off of it we'll tack that fuel tank up or that fuel tank it is a hydraulic tank tack the hydraulic tank up with a crack in it let that cool and then pick all our stuff up so we're about to get fired up on this welding show him a little setup so i just brought my little 110 uh i caught my shoebox welder have it i got two little aerosol fire extinguishers i got my grinder with just a paper wheel on it because i don't want to grind through the metal i just want to brush it up rough it up a little bit he fell over like a drunken sailor now we're going to be touching up there's a little cracker right here that's what we're doing so uh this one is not only a fire extinguisher, it's a fire suppressant. So I put it down as a preventative. It ain't my prettiest weld, but it's not a crack anymore. So we'll put some fluid back in here in a minute. Let it cool off. And uh See how bad I messed up. Stick welding is not my forte, so to speak. I'm a little bit better with MIG, but I couldn't get my MIG welder on top of the combine with me today. So, I did what I did. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if it leaks here in a little bit. We're going to give it, you know, 15, 20 minutes to cool off, and we'll fill the tank back up. So... I'm gonna pick some of mess up and uh, I'll catch back up with y'all when I'm filling tank up. All right, folks, we're back. I'll show you our little weld. It is ugly as the day is long, ugly, ugly, ugly. Uh, that's how you know I did it, it's ugly weld. But it's not leaking. Got the, got the hydraulic tank filled back up. It's not leaking, so that's good. So what we're about to do, back it out of the shed and uh, Gonna rinse all this old crud out from around the motor. I still have one more hydraulic leak I haven't found, but I think I know where it's at. I just need to get the old stuff out of the way, 
that way I can find it. So it shouldn't be too big a deal. So I'm gonna get my stuff off the top here and uh, go wash her off. So we'll get back with you just a minute. All right, we're gonna get the combine out of the shed and see if we can't get some of that crud rinsed off of it. Fired right up, man. Like a champ. Got her set up to wash now. Good news is AC is blowing snowballs today. So I won't ha be having to charge that or nothing, charge that up or nothing this year, which is a plus. So this is what I'm gonna be doing probably next 20, 30 minutes. So when we get done, I'll catch back up with y'all. Until then. Well, folks, got all the dirt off the back of the motor back here. So uh, time to call today. Gonna put the combine back in the shed. And tomorrow, I'll uh, get it back out, fire it off, and let it run a little about 15, 10, 15 minutes, and see if we can't find that leak. So until then, hope you'll have a great day. God bless, and if the good Lord's willing, we'll catch you on the flip side.